culture of softball, it's totally different from any other fans. I mean, these fans are phenomenal. They make you feel welcome from day one. Back in the day, I used to call myself, you know, the their biggest fan, not related or not retired. Because of my job, I was able to take a lot of time off and travel, follow the team um, to California, to Florida, to Georgia. Had season tickets now for probably 11, 12 years. Raging Cajun. Let's go, you L. Being a fan is a really tough job some days. You have to be, you have to wear certain clothes. You have to holler or certain things. So being a fan has a lot of tailgating, which is what's going on here. It's following the team during good times and during bad times. This is Mr. Jim. He passed away um, last summer. Uh, he made peanut brittle for the girls after every game. You know, whether he was going to the game or not, he would make sure it got sent. I bought his, his season ticket uh, his seat this year in memory of him and this is the sign I put up in the park so he's made every game this year and in South Louisiana we're pretty superstitious so like I have a hat that I wore in the 1993 95 96 2003 and 2008 women college world series when our team went now I don't normally pull that hat out but I pulled it out last Sunday when we beat the Longhorns 10 to 1, and I'm going to have to wear it this weekend. I'm going to tell you like one of the little girls says, we're not done yet, so we'll see you guys in Oklahoma City. So go Cajuns!